<laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I did this. Oh, Jesus Christ. How's it going today, everybody? Eddie Kern and Phyrexy Lab. Welcome to the Guitarmory. Have you ever done something so dumb you are having a hard time even taking yourself seriously? That's exactly what I did. And this thing is not disappointing all the way to where it showed up. This is the weirdest, lumpiest, clumpiest way I've ever had a guitar sent to me. I am terrified that when I open this thing up, a, the, the, like just a bunch of crap's just gonna come shooting out everywhere. But you know what? It would be what I deserve for buying the guitar it's, I can't believe I bought this stupid, that just, oh my God. Get a hold of yourself, Edward. Okay, let me explain. It'll help to point out that I'm wearing a Kaler shirt. We all might remember that I started this series, Would Floyd Rose by any other name play a suite? Now's the time, let's, uh, let's, do, let's do a Kaler. In fact, I have a bunch, let's do a bunch of Kalers. But I wanna make sure that I am properly representing Kaler. So not only do I have a Flyer, a 2300, one of their base whammy bars, a Spider, a Killer, and a Steeler, also wanna represent the whammy bars that people erroneously, shall I say, blame Kaler for. You know, I think that maybe people just see these things and they assume that they're Kalers because they don't look like a Floyd. Among these are the Washburn Wonder Bar. In addition would be the AccuTune, which is a horrible, horrible Kaler knockoff. From what I recall, the AccuTune 2 is just the biggest hunk of garbage the world has ever seen. They break just just by looking at them. Well, I bought a guitar with an AccuTune 2 on it. Somewhere along the way, I will do the very same thing with this AccuTune and we will compare and show why it is like not worthy of even being considered in the same headspace as a Kaler, even their budget uh, flyer. You, you guys got to see, this is the weirdest packing job ever. Cheap. It's like opening a sarcophagus. All right, it's just, it's time to just get totally medieval here. Oh, this is just a trip. Okay, all right. Dude, I swear to God, this was a sarcophagus. Look, man, it's a freaking mummy. Come on. Sweet Jesus, that was an ordeal. Let's see if there's anything in the pocket. Oh, well, thank God, that'll come in handy. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Random pick collection. First act, nothing but quality. Okay. Really? Good God. What have I done? Well, here it is in all its glory. Ugh. Guild Burnside. Really? Look. The freaking neck is broken. You cannot tell me for a minute that these people did not know the neck is broken. Wow. Here's the thing, I can fix this. I bought this guitar specifically because it was a piece of shit. And so far it has not disappointed. Oh my God. Really? One of these things is not like the others. One of these things just doesn't belong. One of these things is a screw, more than likely with the wrong screw pattern. Let's find out. You know what, I think that might be close, but no cigar. Let's find out here. Let's whip out the old thread detector. 
this uh, this is definitely imported, so it's going to be metric. What this thing fits in here is a M4.07. This freaking flathead screw better fit in there. It better not be the wrong thread. That's the wrong thread. That doesn't even feel metric. That feels that feels standard. All right, let's go over to the standards. Okay, it doesn't seem to be any particular. Or maybe that's because the threads are boogered up. All right, maybe it is metric. It's not that. It's the wrong thing, and part of the reason I bought this is because it was supposed to be pretty much intact. Let's see if they've destroyed the threads. You're just gonna go in. Nope. All right, so you will fit there. Yeah, you will, but this feels stripped. <sighs> so far, this is pretty terrible. Let's find out if this thing's even got a signal. 93K, nine. All right. Wow, there is something horribly wrong going on with these electronics. And the neck is cracked, sweet Jesus. I gotta tell you guys, I was not gonna tear into this thing. I was just gonna pull it out and go look at this piece of shit, but you know what, I gotta know now. So we're gonna take all these strings off and we're gonna pull this bridge off because it looks like it's got some serious issues. And then we're gonna look at the electronics and then I'm gonna get a refund. Screw it, I'm just cutting all these. I don't care if it shock loads anything, whatever, who cares. Was Gary Kaler right to be angry about this hunk of garbage? Yeah, I think he was. I'm really not impressed with the whole Gil Burnside thing either right now. God, remember when I was complaining about the GTV with the mixing, uh, like the pickup cover fell off? That's nothing compared to this. I have a feeling that this thing is just gonna go sprawling like a broken clock when I get this last screw off. All right. What in the fuck is this? Wow! Oh my god. Somebody jammed some kind of nail clipper thingy in here. That was absolutely idiotic in every way, shape, and form. Ain't got no love. No love for Korea. The burn side came with this whammy bar on it. Why is this all tore up like that? You know what I bet it is? I bet you they decided to recess the thing like, wow. Oh my God. Well, I heard the Ibanez Edge whammy will pop right in here. It kind of does. Feels like this thing will dive forward a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but you can see it from here. So far, I'm Team Gary Kaler. Fuck this thing. Well, it's the next day, and me and the seller of this guitar, boy, did we go round and round. It was pretty bad. We went from, it must have got broken shipping, which uh, there's no freaking way. Not the way this thing was packed. Well, I'm just an old man. I don't understand. I don't know how to tell if a guitar neck's broken. Yeah, you gonna try to tell me that you can't tell that that's not supposed to be there? First, he offered to drop 40 bucks for my inconvenience. So I was like, no, I don't think so. And then he offered to drop more money and I was like no in fact there's no way in the world that you didn't know and that's fraud and I'm gonna report you to eBay and he was like you fine I 
have a stellar reputation. Almost immediately he came back with, what if I give you a hundred bucks? Will you just, will you just leave me alone? Will you just, will you go away? Will you not report me to eBay? And I sat here and I looked at this thing and I thought about it and I thought about it again and I thought about it some more and I was like, you know what? I'll take your, I'll take the hundred dollars, which means that I basically paid a hundred bucks for this thing. It's not worth a hundred bucks. It's not worth anything. It's broken as hell and everything else. So why would I do that? Couple reasons. Thing number one, he told me that when he got it back, he'd just sell it again. Well, fuck you. I am not going to be part of letting somebody sell an obviously broken instrument to anybody. I mean, look at that. Dude, I don't even have to try. Thing number two, I need this AccuTune 2 in order to show just how much better a Kaler is than these Kaler knockoffs. Thing number three, this will make a great cautionary tale as to why you don't just buy any old thing and why not all guitars from the 80s are good. Let's just take a look right here really quick. I want you guys to be fully aware that that's like really bad. That's horrible. This is like not solid under there and this is freaking plywood i mean this is terrible that is unacceptable i don't think that this old man i think maybe he's got dementia or something maybe a little alzheimer's he's just trying to make a couple bucks you know pay his bills you know live out the rest of his days and god bless you there pappy you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna cause a fuss for you i certainly hope that he never does anything like this ever again. And if he does, then I'm part of the problem and I'm what's wrong with America. So that's it for now. Until next time, this has been Eddie Kernan for Rexy Lab, probably uh, making decisions that I'm going to regret one guitar at a time.